Hello everybody, Grace Steel Blazer, we're back with more Jalopy Masters of the Universe. No time for BS. Let's blow this popsicle sand because it's time to go make more money. Time to build our Jalopy up. I want a better engine, damn it. If I can get a ben better engine, that would be fantastic. We are right on the water, boys. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Now, we do have to fill our Jalopy up with gas, if I do remember correctly. We got a brand new gas tank in this some bitch, and I am walking out of my car after getting into it. We got a brand new gas tank. It takes a ton of gas. I think it was like 33 or 30 liters of gas. So we are going to have to go to a gas station real quick and grab a little bit of that sweet juice. Question is, where is the gas station? We've got the little store over here. I think it's upstairs. Well, upstairs. I think it's at the top of the city over here. Because there's like a top portion and a lower portion. Pretty neat though. So this is procedurally generated, huh? All these little cities in there have you. That's kind of cool. Because that uh, we got a uh, we got like a uh, a little seaside city then. Just kind of just kind of the luck of the draw. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. You can always see the gas area. Just gleaming down upon us. It's exactly what we're gonna need too. Better be open. Actually, they're always open. Some of you guys were saying for me to um oh wow, I snuck in sideways to this place. To like park the car out out. Uh sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Some of you guys were saying to park the car out by the gate so the gate can't close. Um, but other people were saying if you do that and you buy stuff and you don't pay for it, then the next time you log on, all your crap gets took and, uh, you're left with a bunch of garbage bags inside. So that would kind of suck too. Come to think of it, we need to open up our, our hood real quick. Anyway, let me go fill her up with gas. I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. Alright, we got the gas. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of a fuel mixture here. Oh, well, hold on. Let me do that. There we go. And now let's go ahead and pay for the rest of it. There we have it. Give me my fuel mixture, damn it. Because we're going to need quite a bit of this, I imagine. I don't know. I've never had 30. So it should be three... Oh, wow. It may be six pours of this, come to think of it. Let's find out here. I've never messed around with this. Hold on. Let me... Let me... This much, that is. Oh, no. It's still two pours. That's good. Well, great. I didn't know that. I thought it would be a lot more because of how much gas we can fit in there. Whatever. All right, man. So we're set... Probably our tires, I would assume, are looking fairly bad. We got two of three, one of three. Yeah, our tires are pretty beat up, but that's fine. If we end up getting a fat, a oh, fat, if we end up getting a flat, we will fix it. Let's see where's next on the old road here. Got rain, rain, and rain. Great. Wow. So happy about that. Going to, oh no, Devronic to M. Tarnovo. Look at this beautiful wildlife over here. It makes sense because the damn road is so craptastic. Good thing I bought a couple of a uh, couple of rain tires, huh? Because we're going to be dealing with it sooner than later. Close her up. Start things up. There we go. Now, one of you guys were mentioning as well to um, at some point to go ahead and grab. There's some sort of like regenerating toolkit that we can buy and that sounds pretty cool I definitely would want to get that now how the hell are we getting out of here is it this way or what I'm not really sure I'm curious if the sheer uh, weight of gas in the car is going to screw up our uh, our acceleration and stuff it really doesn't look like it 30 liters of gas though is gonna add some weight that's for damn sure go ahead and wander down here didn't we come this way in the rain I'm pretty sure we did man it's like all rain all the time. This sucks too, because eventually when our tire goes down, we're gonna have to freaking change a tire in the rain. Isn't that nice? 9 a.m. in the morning, not too bad. But man, we are slipping and sliding all over the place. It's like the freaking ice capades in this jalopy, Jesus. Got some cones over here. Let me see if I can not hit all of the cones. And then we'll squeeze on by, oh no. Hold on, let me see if I can even get to the... There we go. Man, 
I was just barely able to get not the money, although bribing him might work as well. Hold on here. Let me go ahead and crank down the old window. I don't know, man. How easy was it to bribe dudes back in the day? Can I not give this to you? Is there an issue here? Hold on. Can I? I can't even get out. Oh shit. Am I not close enough? Is that the problem? <laughs> there we go. I wasn't close enough. So I had to open this door which hit the fence which pushed my freaking car over. How do you like that BS? Oh, that was weird. All right. So are we are we good? Oh, my guy's sifting through the trunk over there. All right, whatever. I shouldn't have anything out, out of the ordinary here. Yeah, give me my stuff, man. Open her up. Let me go ahead and crank this up. We probably got all kinds of water inside of the freaking car here. Start her back up. Let's get the hell out of here, boys. We've been hanging around for far too long in this in this scumbaggery. Now, given how craptastic the weather currently is, we're gonna have to keep our eyes peeled for delicious treasures that we could get for uh, for extra money here because we're kind of low on funds right now. I think we got like fifty something dollars on us. It's not very much, man. I'm kind of riding the, the guardrail here. That's not exactly what I want to be doing. Into the tunnel where, oh, the rain is letting up down here. That's kind of nice, but it is still slick as hell. So we're, I'm still hydroplaning the whole way. I wonder too, I think, I wonder if you get better traction in this car if you put the wet tires on the front or the back. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if this thing is front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. I know our uh, Satsuma My Summer Car was always front wheel drive, so maybe I'll just pretend that this is front wheel drive as well. All right, coming out of the tunnel, still doing pretty good. Now again, I mentioned this before, if you guys have never driven, oh God in heaven, if you guys have never driven with a busted tire in this game, it is the worst, man. It is the worst. Getting up this hill is also the worst. Oh, we could barely do it. Come on, baby. Can't even see over this little thing so damn steep. Now, the good part is that we never happen to deal with any other jerks. It's like I never see anyone on the roadway here. I'm going to go ahead and run through. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a cliff? Oh, oh. Okay, it's not. It's not a cliff. Okay. Effort. Jesus, Jiminy Christmas. Did we blow a tire out or something, or am I just flying all over the place from the friggin' water? Oh, great. We got potholes, too. Might as well. Yep. Just don't mind me. Dri just drive it right through. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fuck me. Oh, ow. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, ow. Jesus. Um, shit. Did I just fall off of the area that I'm supposed to drive inside of? Oh, God. How do I even fix this? Oh, no. One of our windshield wipers is, is all stuck and mashed up. Was it always like that? I don't even know. Crap, man. How do I even get past this now? I don't even know. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Hold on. I'm flying all over the place now. I think we've got... Oh. Oh, it let me through. It let me through. Nice. Okay, I think I think we may have a busted tire. Hold on here, guys. Hold on, we, I, I gotta go look at this real quick. Let me go turn all this crap off. So, yeah, boys. This sucks nuts. We, uh, we got some bad tires over here. Go ahead and, uh, toss that over there. Got two back tires on the back side here. I think I'm gonna grab... I think I'll grab this tire over here. We got this wet tire. So I figure, what the hell, let me give it a shot. Go ahead and fix that on. Tighten it nice and tight. There we go. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and bring it on down here. We'll do the other side as well. Well, I'll say, this game doesn't quite give you the same wiener beating as uh, My Summer Car does. But it's still not easy. Grab another wet tire here. We might as well use it. The more wet tires, the better, quite honestly. Go ahead and tighten her down like that right there. Excellent. And that should be it. Okay. Let's go take this thing out. Bring this right here. Very easy to get this done, too. I kind of like it. Hope you guys don't mind me leaving my tires in the middle of nowhere. Now, how do we fix all the broken glass? Do we have to do that back at our, uh, at our shop? Like the actual guys that make this thing? Because we just got the living shit kicked out of the car. Uh, and I'm not really too happy about that. Where's the roadway? I don't even know where the roadway is. Crap, man. Hold on, let me see if I can find the roadway. We got a lot of trees hanging around here. Um... 
shit. Well, I'm driving up a sheer freaking cliffside, trying to find out where the hell I left the road behind. I don't know if this is a good idea. Can you go off the map in this game? I feel like I'm doing something really, really stupid here. Hold on. Got a little bit of a mountain over here. You know old Gray. He'll find his way around one way or the other. Yeah, we'll just go down this way here. No big deal. There we go. Slide right on down like that. Oh, man. This is a freaking off-road extravaganza. Oh, the likes of which I never seen and never wanted. I don't know where the hell we are. It's, hold on a second. I need. Are these lights even working right now? Jesus Christ. They are. I just can't see a freaking thing. Well, boys. We drove off the map. <laughs> Shit! I'm in the middle of nowhere! Only with Grey. Only with Grey could I take a game that is essentially like a linear sandbox and go completely off the map. Let me ask you something, boys. You ever heard of Groundhog Day? That's every day for Grey. You thought Grey couldn't die in a game like Jalopy? Think again. Hold on while I go ahead and get us more. Yes, yeah, son of a bitch. Welcome to Jalopy Masters of the Universe with Grey, where every day is the same. Something seemed kind of familiar about this to you guys? Yep, seems pretty damn familiar to me too. Only difference is this time, we can learn from our mistakes. It's like a free pass. You know what I mean? It's like a free pass back at survival. So what we're gonna do, I don't know why I just closed that because I've got things to buy. What we're gonna do is this time we're gonna buy a repair kit because I think we needed one. Of course there's no repair kits here. Of course, why would, why would there be? Oh, I love stores like this. You dirty whores. You have everything else. You have everything else but repair kits. What is this? Oh, that's nothing. All right, well, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and get one of these then. We're gonna pay for this, pay for our gas, grab this in right here, and I'm gonna put new tires on before we leave this time so that we don't have to deal with the BS that we did with, that we had to deal with last time. All right, brand new tires, brand new fuel, and you guys get to enjoy another run because it's always different, right? Oh, we have clear road or sunny road, a little bit of potholes. No big deal, I'll take the potholes, damn it. I could care less at this point. I just want to see the sun for once, for the love of God. All right, let's go ahead and bring all this in. There we have it. From what I found, if you don't use your, um, if you don't use your booklet until you're ready to leave, then it looks like time doesn't go anywhere. So that's cool. Time kind of stands still for you. We still got a bunch of cracks in there, have you, all over our vehicle. I guess I already had some of these. I wonder what happens if you get enough damage to this poor bastard vehicle. Like, does it fall apart and you can't use it anymore or what? I don't know, man. But we're down to the wire here. We're going to need to make some big ass money because we do not have enough enough money right now to get tires. Um, and our tires are freaking beat big time. And I'm running all over the place like a freaking crazy man. We're already having engine problems. That sounds great. So it's kind of nice that I took a short a short way to the next place. Hopefully this thing makes it. We're going to need to find money too. Oh my God. This is turning out to be a big ass pain in the ass. All right. Let me see if I can do this. I think I hit something too. And I rode up to this guy. It's just, it's just all good all day today. All right. Gomer over there is checking our shit. He's not going to find anything impressive because I have like nothing on me at all right now. Thank you very much for my damn paperwork. Crap. Didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up and you just pretend that I didn't just smack you with my door. Please don't shoot me. I don't know what the levels of retaliation are around here, but I have a feeling getting shot may be one of them. Anytime a dude with a rifle is sifting through my stuff while I'm trying to squeeze my poor ass through a checkpoint, meanwhile my car is overheating or doing whatever it's doing. I don't know, guys. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Will we make it to the next town? God, I hope so. I hope we freaking find some cash along the way, too. Because if we don't, we are scrooby dude. We've got, like, 50 marks on us, I think, at the most. Which, I mean, it's enough to buy a, uh, a repair kit. But I think it's enough to buy a repair kit. I'm not even sure. We're moving pretty fast, though. 80 kilometers per hour. Again, keep your eyes peeled with me here, boys. I know you're going to be screaming at the freaking, uh, at the freaking, um... 
whatchamacallit, the screen while I miss the various packages. So we're going off-road right off the bat. You guys remember the last time I went slightly off-road. We ended up flying off the earth. But this time, things are going to be different. This time, I don't have the rain getting in my way, which is kind of nice. And the car is... Ooh, hold on. Okay, good. The car is performing admirably, I will say. Oh, hold on. We got packages, boys. We got packages. Straight... Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Straight off the bat here. Straight off the bat. We need to grab this package. This could be the very thing that saves us. Oh, it's a lockbox, too. Anything else around here? What is this, like a little sculpture or something? What the crap is this? What is this? It's like two hands holding broken bottles of beer or something like that. It's probably some famous monument that I just desecrated with my ill-knowledged words. Okay, what do we got here? I know we got a crowbar. Yeah, that's what I want. What do we got inside of this puppy? Give me that big cash. Stacks of cash. Come on, boys. We've got... What is this? Opa! That must be cigarettes. All right. Whatever. Cigarettes it is. Let me go pack all this away real quick. All right, boys. Cigs are in the bag. That's a couple of bucks. Not enough, I don't think. That's maybe, uh... What was that? Like, maybe 50 marks or something like that? That is nowhere near... Oh, that's a big-ass pothole right there. Hold on, let me see if I can go around it. I think I hit it. I think I hit everything. I went off the road. I hit the pothole. I think if there was something you could hit, I'm pretty sure I hit it. All right, now down this down this hill, let's watch out for that pothole. That was a, that was a clean miss. And this is some beautiful forests over here, boys. We are deep in the country right now. Car's looking a little worse for wear. We're screeching and scorching all over the damn... Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Out, son of a bitch. All right, we just hit that. Oh, God. There we go. That was a that was a miss. Kind of went off-road a little bit. No big deal, though. No big deal. There we go. All right. Still looking now. Looking for cash. Looking for money. I don't know where all these people are going that they're losing freaking cartons of uh, cigarettes and, and alcohol and everything else. But uh, I'll take it. We've got an extra gas tank on our um, on our upper storage area as well. So when we get to the next place, we can sell that. But I don't think it really sells for anything. So it wasn't a big deal to have it with us because it's we have so much storage space right now. It's not an issue. But man, this is teaching me. I should have kept more cash on me big time. Because now we're having the opposite trouble. Instead, instead we have so much space... And not enough stuff to put in it. And I, I, we, may even, we may not even have enough cash to make it to the next town. Hold on, let me try and get around this pothole without hitting it. Uh, 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 yeah, that's what I'm freaking talking about. We did it. Now all I have to do is amble up this giant ass mountain at 25 kilometers per hour. Because, well, our car isn't really suited to going much faster than that. This poor vehicle. It is a real specimen of, of, I don't know, automobile advancement, but mother of God, I, it, it can barely limp us up the hill. Come on, you son of a bitch. Oh, no, wait, hold on. We don't want to make fun of the car. You lovely, beautiful creature. We need to name this thing, too. Any names for the cars, boys? Feel free to let me know. I think we should give it a girl's name. A buddy of mine always said, if you give your car a, a female name, and you treat it nice, it will treat you nice. He had a car where um, it would randomly not start, and he would, like, sweet talk it, and then it would start. It was the weirdest thing. I'm sure there was some sort of, you know, actual mechanical problem with it, but we never discovered it, and he worked for a shop, a mechanic shop, so maybe, maybe they were just incompetent. Who knows? Let's go ahead, though, and continue onward here. We are... I mean, we're still going, so that's got to count for something, man. Haven't seen a pothole in a little while, or I've just missed it. Starting to gain a little bit of speed here as we're coming to a little bit more level of area. Oh, I, I think I spoke too soon. We're still going like 25 kilometers per hour. What's that in the distance? That a pothole I see? Or an oil slick? I think it's an oil slick. That was like straight up black. So I don't think... Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what that is on the side there, but I don't want to run into it, man. For all I know, it's friggin' water or something. We're, we're like doing the Space Jam over here over some some sort of contaminated water field. Let's see if I can continue to squeeze. This is like the most windy-ass road ever. What time is it? Ooh, 6 p.m. It's gonna start getting a little dark, boys. A little scary. 
I don't know what sort of weird chupacabra has come out here where we're at. I don't even think we're in Bulgaria anymore. I think we're past Bulgaria. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. All right, everything's gonna be fine. Great. Just, there we go. Oh, that was close. We almost went right off the freaking hillside there. Yep. Things are starting to get a little dark. Things are starting to get a little freaky here. Oh, shit. Oh, God. All right. Well, you know, we're still making it. It's not that bad so far. Um, the only issue is I can't see but freaking 50 feet in front of me right now. Eh, around here. This is like, I mean, I guess if you're looking for a nice scenic drive, this was the way to take. But, oh, my God, what a freaking pain in the ass. We are just like, it is like you, like, hairpin turn after hairpin turn here. The fog lifted, so that's nice. Now it's just a nice dark night. See, this I don't mind. Like, this here, it's dark, but I can see just fine. This does not bother me in the slightest. Hold on, let me not go ahead and hit that guardrail right there. Our freaking um, brakes are really good. I gotta tell you, our acceleration sucks ass, and the handling is crap. But the brakes are fantastic. Man, you just tap on them. You stop on a dime. All right, baby. We've got we've got to be getting there soon, right, guys? I mean, at this point, we're going 60 kilometers per hour. We're flying for the most part. Town has to be right up ahead. There's another pothole right over there. I'm glad that the potholes look like giant freaking red ant hills. If you guys haven't dealt with red ants, let me tell you about the evilest creatures to ever walk God's green earth. Do we have any more packages around here? This is kind of where we found the last package. Doesn't look like it. Oh, shit. Excuse me while I just run off the road real quick there. Now, is this a real road or is this still dirt? S still looks fairly dirt-like to me. I don't know, man. God, with the freaking potholes. Can't you guys just spend a couple of bucks to fix this up? Jesus. Go ahead and kind of swoop around here. Oh. Oh, I see something, boys. Hold on. Yes! We made it! We made it to town! Oh, my God, and not a moment too soon. Can you believe it? Holy crap, man. I thought I was going to have to push this thing. No joke. So where's the uh, where's the motel and the shop and all that? It's not up... Oh, God. Man, this thing, this is freaking... If it's not up... Oh, all right, hold on. Let me not drive off the cliff. I've already beat the shit out of this thing enough. I, I would prefer not to go flying off the cliff. How we doing here? Doing all right. This is a pretty cool... What is this, a three-layer town? Have we had a three-layer town? This is pretty neat. But again, the cash lords, guys, are not on our side. I'm going to see if we can squeak on by with enough repairs to get us to the next town. Hopefully the next time we'll be able to find enough stuff to keep us going, man. Whoa, that was close. This poor car. Okay, so there's the motel. So that's fine. Now, where's the shop and all the rest? Man, multi-tier we're talking here, boys. Multi-tier. Let's see. Oh, my God. If this thing breaks down, it is going to be a freaking nightmare. A nightmare to push back up. Uh, all right. Just kind of like that, that there. There we go. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so the shop and the gas station is right next to one another. Awesome. Let's go into the gas station real quick, boys, and see if there's anything good for us to buy. Go ahead and grab this basket over here to put all of our goods in. I I think they I, I think these are cigarettes. I'm pretty sure they're cigarettes. Go ahead and grab the rest of these and shove them on in there. All right, grab this, grab this, sell this old gas tank as well. What's going on there, lady? I'm glad you're freaking open 24 hours a day because my life would suck if you wouldn't. Go ahead and sell this. So all of that, ah, uh, okay, I mean, it's something. We're up to 80 bucks then, I think, 89, all right. Do we have any repair kits in here? Not a single damn one. I think it's because it's nighttime. We're probably gonna have to come back here in the daytime and pray to Jesus that she has a repair kit. I wonder how we're doing on fuel, too. We, we should be pretty damn good on fuel with the massive tank that we have. All right, boys, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is that uh, we still have 20 liters of gas left. The bad news is, is that we've got some tires that are getting ready to go bad, and I'm not sure we're going to have enough money to survive. Because um, I think tires are... How much are tires? Are they 50 each? 
God, I hope they are. I hope they're not a hundred. Cause after we buy after we buy this room, we're gonna have all of 60 bucks left. Alright, lady. Go ahead and give me a room for the night. Got nothing else I could do right now. Well, I went back to the uh I went back to the shop real quick to check. And it turns out Oh, hold on. Come on, baby. Oh, one B. Am am I trying to get into one A? Yep, I sure am. Turns out that tires are only 20 bucks. So lucky us. We're gonna just barely have enough money to probably buy two more or one more. I think we have one sitting inside the car still. So that we're not gonna die. Boys, I hope you're enjoying Jalopy. Oh my god, what a pain in the ass trip this was. We still need to do a ton of repairs. There better be a freaking repair kit in that shop when I wake up in the morning. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.